There's often a, shall we say, lack of consensus among trainers about whether there should be a logical, progressive introduction of all the background and theory before getting into actual hard skills or not. Naturally, the benefit of jumping right in is that it engages you right away. The drawback is that if you don't know what you're doing or why you're doing it, the fact that you are doing something is really meaningless and very hard to retain or relate to anything that you can really use. Well, I'm a want-to-have-it-all kind of girl, so we're going to start off with both. In this chapter, we'll begin with the basics of tables, but we'll be including some theory as well as a lot of actual hands-on skills that we'll employ as well. So what you need to know is, first of all, why do we need tables? Once we know why we need tables, we then need to know how to prepare our data for use as a table and, of course, how to actually create tables. We'll need to be aware of what changes occur when we create tables and a very simple but important step, which is how to name tables, and we'll find out why. Then, of course, it's always good to be able to go back from where we started, and in this case, that means knowing how to convert tables back to regular ranges. So why do we need to know all of that? Well, we're comfortable with what we know. What we're used to is our comfort zone. And we really need a reason to change. We're not just going to change because somebody says, hey, you should do this. So focusing on the similarities, how are things the same, makes us a little bit more comfortable adopting those changes. And then, of course, we can focus on what's different. What are the benefits? It's not enough to know we can. We also need to know why we should. What are we going to benefit by doing so? In this case, how are tables going to make our working with Excel easier, faster, more efficient, or more accurate? We don't want to waste time or try to accomplish something that isn't possible or provides no benefit. And I'm not going to try to tell you that you always want to work with tables in Excel, because that's just not true. Knowing the benefits will let us know when we should be converting things to tables and when we should be working with them as regular ranges. To do so, though, as I've said, we need to be aware of and appreciate the benefits of doing so. And then, of course, to do it, we actually need to know how to do it. In this case, how to create those tables. If you've ever worked with naming in Excel, you understand the concepts behind it. Naming helps us understand worksheets, ranges, and calculations, and now it's going to help us understand tables as well with less effort. It's going to make things more intuitive. So by naming, we're going to make things simpler and easier to understand. And even though I wish everything was always done and done well and perfectly, the fact is that sometimes after we do something, like creating a table, we decide that we really don't want it that way. For whatever reason, we want to put it back to a regular range. We always need to know how to put something back like it was. Those are some of the things that we need to learn and why we need to learn them as we start skimming the surface learning about tables in Excel.